Americans experience about 1 billion colds each year, while the flu attacks between 5 and 10 percent of the U.S. population and sends about 200,000 a year to the hospital for flu-related complications. Although the H1N1 flu virus, also known as the swine flu, is a concern to keep in mind, the flu is clearly a risk to all of us each and every year, and we want to be able to prevent flus and colds no matter what kind they are. Swine flu, although more contagious than flus we're used to, has shown itself to be otherwise no different than the average flu in any other way, and it exhibits the same symptoms as the flu usually does. Any major flu or good old-fashioned cold can set you back often by up to three weeks. So, prevention is the key here. In this presentation, we'll go over the top five measures you can take on a daily basis, any time of year, to help protect yourself, then thus those around you, from the flu and colds. We'll discuss practical measures to take and exactly how you can go about each one with ease. But before we go further, let's talk about symptoms, the things that happen to our bodies that let us know we're getting sick or are already sick. As most of you already know, colds and flus are not the same thing, nor are their symptoms exactly the same. An easy way to tell if you have the flu is if you have a fever, extreme body aches and fatigue, or nausea. Any other symptoms aside from these usually indicate that what you may have is a common cold. Flu symptoms appear quite suddenly and are best prevented by everyday preventative actions like those we're going to discuss in this presentation. Colds, on the other hand, usually show early symptoms that come on slowly, often over a few weeks period.